If you have problems with sweaty feet, let me show you what I recommend to my patients as well as my family members. But first, let's sterilize some instruments. A lot of you on social media have been asking me about how to deal with sweaty feet. We're not talking about uh, regular sweaty feet because I want to preface by saying everybody sweats. But what we're talking about is if you have problems with when you're just sitting there on the couch and even though you're not doing anything strenuous, beads of sweat start to form on the bottom of your feet or on the palms of your hands, that may be a condition called hyperhidrosis. And hyperhidrosis comes in two different forms. It's either primary or secondary. Secondary is if it's due to something else like, say, diabetes. But primary is when the hyperhidrosis is due to your actual nerves being overactivated. So your sweat glands and the nerves that are attached to those sweat glands are overactive and it always sweats even though you don't have a heat problem that your body needs cooling. And the biggest problem with having sweaty feet all the time isn't necessarily the discomfort or the embarrassment that could come along with having sweaty feet. It's actually the constant moisture that is in the shoe. Constant moisture within the shoe can actually harbor uh, bacteria and fungus that can infect the skin and nails. So that's the biggest thing that I'm always worried about with hyperhidrosis. So how do you treat hyperhidrosis? There are two things that I commonly recommend to friends and family as well as my patients. One is using an aluminum-based antiperspirant lotion. And there are a couple companies that make this. You apply it and that aluminum actually clogs up the sweat glands. So it prevents you from sweating or sweat less. The most important part with these antiperspirant lotions is when you apply it. So if you apply it during the morning, what will happen is you will immediately sweat and all of it will get washed away. So it's actually important to apply it at nighttime, right before you go to bed. That's when you sweat the less or sweat the least. So that will give the best chance for the antiperspirant to actually absorb into the skin and do its job. And the second way of treating hyperhidrosis is actually something my family member uses and he swears by it. And it's something called iontophoresis. And what iontophoresis is, it's basically sending an electrical current through water into your skin. And what happens is the ions that are within the water actually go in and it actually clogs up the sweat glands very much like what an antiperspirant does. But there's also a second process that happens in iontophoresis. The electrical signal that's sent through the water can actually overstimulate the nerves that are activating your sweat gland. And by overstimulating those nerves, it kind of dulls it out. So when you take your foot out of the water bath and the iontophoresis machine, it actually dulls out the sweat glands and you sweat less from that. Like I said, my family member uses it and he swears by it. I promise you, I'm not sponsored by any type of iontophoresis uh, company, but if if you wanted to pick up an iontophoresis machine, the one that he uses is called Dermadry. So those are the two most common recommendations that I have for my patients, as well as family members. So give it a try, maybe it'll help with your hyperhidrosis.